16 months ago, President Trump slapped a 25% tariff on imported steel in an effort to protect the beleaguered American steel industry against a rapacious China, which subsidizes the production of cheap steel and then encourages its mills to dump the stuff all over the world, especially the United States. You know, I think that the underlying logic of the trade war makes perfect sense. The Chinese government has consistently been a really bad actor on trade. And we needed to show them we mean business. However, at the time, we recommended Nucor, the best-run steel company in the world, as a play on the tariffs. You know what? In retrospect, I think we may have been too early because of some, some events that occurred that I did not foresee. Just this morning, Nucor reported an imperfect quarter with slightly weaker than expected sales and earnings. But because I think the Fed will cut interest rates, I expect cyclicals like Nucor to get a major boost. And I think that things might actually finally be looking up, given that there are declining steel inventories and the good news about a decline in foreign dumping for the tariffs, so they're not coming back. Let's check in with John Ferrioli, the chairman and CEO of Nucor, to learn more about the quarter and what it will take to get the stock back on track. Mr. Ferrioli, welcome back to Mad Money. Hi, Jim. Thank you for having me on the show. John, I am hearing, when I read the conference call and listening to what Nucor's been up to, there have been what I've been waiting for, a couple of price hikes. I know the steel business. When that happens, it's time to pounce. Tell me what's going on. Well, we have had two price increases on our sheet products over the last four weeks. The first one took place about three weeks ago, and we did uh, we were able to collect just about all of the forty dollars. The second increase was also forty dollars just a week ago, and it's too early to tell how we're collecting that. But we have uh, high hopes of being able to collect it because we see our lead times going out, expanding out from about three weeks to about six weeks. Now, I think for those who are uninformed about the steel industry, these sound like they may not be major. But isn't that how almost every turn has really begun? It, it is. And, you know, uh, you started the show mentioning we had a weaker than hope for first uh, second quarter. But let's bear in mind that the first half of this year for Nucor was our third best first half of a year in our company's history. So despite a challenging market because of weather conditions and 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 uh, inventories that were bloated. Our team did a great job in operating in a difficult situation and presenting a very good first half of the year for our company. John, I'm used to the Chinese seeing these price increases and flooding our great nation with their cheap and, I think, imperfect steel. Will that happen again? Well, the administration and the Commerce Department have taken many steps to prevent that from happening. Uh, we're very pleased with the results uh, that are happening as a result of the tariffs. The anticipated response was domestic capacity coming online to replace the lower imported steel, and that's exactly what happened. So things are becoming more normalized. Last year, demand was very strong, and as a result, people were worried that they wouldn't be able to get the steel they needed when imports went down. The domestic industry, Nucor included, responded by making sure that we gave our customers what they needed to keep their customers happy. And with the strong end demand use that we saw in 2018, Jim, we see it increase, increasing right into 2019. So it's carrying forward. We still see end use demand very strong. What we saw in the last quarter, in the first half of the year, was inventory destocking by our service center customers, getting rid of that overblown inventory that they had last year, and we see a more normalized ordering pattern from our service center and our OEM customers occurring now. I know something about Nucor from when I met the, the great Ken Arverson, which is that the company grows hmm. when it's not necessarily perceived to be the right time to grow because they want to be ready. They also have the best workforce and, most importantly, the lowest cost. Will you be able to maintain that? And would this not be one of those moments, since they can't flood us with imports, that Nucor might be able to show you how much it can really make when things get cranking? <laughs> well, you're right. We continue to invest during the tougher times. We've done that. During the first half of this year, you, I'm sure, know we have about $3.5 billion of investments. And what we're investing in is our capabilities, not just our capacity. So as we invest in our capabilities to produce higher-grade steels to better provide solutions to our customers' needs, but the, we're also investing in our capability to keep and enhance our low-cost position in projects where we're improving our logistical uh, locations towards to, uh, to our customers and to our, uh, to our scrap suppliers. So logistics plays a big part in steel. We're investing to get closer to our customer, closer to our supply, and also investing to increase the capability of our mills. Now, John, I know that you uh, are a gentleman and you're not going to 
uh, slam your competitors. But some of the other guys did not handle their balance sheet well during a period where Nucor had exceptional balance sheet uh, management. Is it possible that you might be this, the theoretical last man standing in America to be able to take advantage when prices do go higher, although they will still be below all the worries that we heard about from the media when they put through the tariffs? You know, absolutely, Jim. You make a great point. We heard all this from the media that steel would be so highly priced with the tariffs that the customers could not take care of their customers in, in appliances and downstream businesses. If you look at the pricing today, it is about $100 a ton under what it was before the tariffs went into effect. So the pricing today is lower than before the tariffs. We said all along last year that this is an issue of supply and demand. It got a little bit out of whack last year. Now it's back normalized, and pricing is normalized also. Well, to me, that sounds, John, that's the loaded spring I've been looking for. I know things got a little <laughs> delayed because of stocking and destocking, but this is the moment that I think I should be have been, I should have prepared for. Uh, it's time, isn't it? Well, let me put it this way. I sleep very easily at night. I know we got a great team. We have great and used demand. The combination of those two things can be a great deal of confidence in New Course future. Well, terrific. Let's leave it at that. That's John Ferriol, president and chairman of C CEO of Nucor. Once again, the best steel company in the world. May have money's back here for the break. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.